Welcome to the wildlife safari, Philippine style. But far from tranquil leisure, this is an upriver adventure with such dangers we're told we need a gun-toting guard to lead the way. And no one knows the dangers here better than our main guide, Freud. Do the cro cro crocodiles run wild? Are we going to see the crocodiles at sure. night time? Yeah? Sure. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. As well as Filipino crocs, these murky mangroves are home to deadly Filipino sea snakes, Filipino rare birds and Filipino turtles. And they're also home to this, the little known and rarely seen Filipino giraffe. Although for this elegant creature, this tranquil piece of paradise is not perfect and we'll soon find out why. From the air-conditioned comfort of the island's only tour bus, and with the patron saint of giraffes watching over us, we head for the interior. And here we find the imported giraffe is not alone. In fact, there's a foreign legion. Besides the zebras, there's also impala and waterbuck. Indeed, a whole stable of Serengeti settlers literally out of Africa. Filipinos are known for their sense of humour, and just before he was turfed out by the people, that greatest joker of all, President Marcos, had the inhabitants of this island turfed off to make way for shiploads of animals from Africa. Some say it was to help save them, others insist it was for his own amusement and even hunting with his mates. Whatever the reason, it's left the local vet with a bit of a headache. Well, yeah, a little bit silly idea, but from African wild animals to her in the, in the Philippines, I think it's a little bit weird, a eh? silly idea, but it works. That was 20 years ago, and most have gone forth and done what they were supposed to do. Today, there are more than twice as many giraffes, the zebra herd keeps growing, and the prolific procreator's prize goes to the horned impala, who have boosted their stock tenfold. And can you tell if the giraffes are happy or unhappy? Well, they are happy now. Yeah? It's time. It's happy time. giraffes are Oscar's business. And without this local Dr. Doolittle, these beasts of the savannah would be struggling in their bid for Asian acclimatisation. Well, why do you like working with them? Well, it's very interesting. Hmm? Yeah, it's very interesting. The animals are very interesting. Why is that? Why are they different to cattle? Yeah. Uh... It might be something to do with the neck, and it's African necks that are getting them in Asian trouble. Sharp bamboo and cut trees are leaving marks that can be deadly in the Philippines' humidity. In this environment, if you even treat the swans, it will be a big, big problem for the animals because eventually they will die. As serious as that sounds, Oscar's calling is a pretty laid-back pursuit. But only the mystical ingredients of his secret purple potion can save the animals. And with typical Filipino ingenuity, a bicycle pump has been converted into the local giraffe drencher. You can't tell it's easy, but in this world animals is very dangerous. You cannot really uh, put them in a, in a small place because they might hurt you or they might commit suicide. <laughs> yeah. Suicide aside, with no lions or tigers on the rampage, you'd think this would be giraffe paradise. But dangers lurk in these parts, and after 20 years of isolated bliss, the giraffes are again at risk. Old timers now rue the day the Africans arrived. In fact, they dislike the animals so much, villagers have started eating them. They don't care about these animals. They even shot these animals for food and for, you know, for money. They the, the meat, they sell, they sell it on the other side of the, the island. But all's not lost. 
to stop these foreign visitors ending up in the local stew, authorities have sent in the fearless poacher patrol. And although heavily armed, they don't seem to be catching much more than a good view. For the uh, 30 days that uh, we have been uh, here, I have not, uh, have not seen any animals uh, uh, hunt mm -hmm. by the hunters. Just because you scared them away? Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> I think uh, they are afraid of us. <laughs> While the animals breathe a sigh of relief for now, it's not clear how long the cash-strapped Philippines will be happy to foot the towering costs of its own giraffic park.